Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is how to fine tune your machine for going close to the brill, the bill of a hat. So right now, this foot I have on here, I painted the top purple, so I know it's different. This foot has been modified. Uh, I bent, I bent the bottom part over to the left, so I have the smallest tolerances on the right side. And the reason for that is that I want to go as close to the bill of the hat as possible. So um, I have this piece of fabric here, sorry, trying to get it in view, that I've made like a little uh, hem on. And I'm going to pretend that this edge here is the bill of a hat. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sew as close to the bill as possible. So we're going to pretend that this lump is the bill of the hat. So basically, I'm just going to um, start sewing. Oh, I've got to turn my machine on first. Uh, start sewing. And then I'm going to go with my foot as close as possible. That's too close. As close as possible to the bill without going on top of it. And when you're sewing around the bill of the hat, you're going to be coming towards you, most likely. Like you're going to go away from you and then come towards you. So right now, and I'm sorry the camera mount's wiggling because I have it on the table I'm using to sew on. So you're going to go as close to the bill as possible. So the distance, uh, let me find something to point with. The distance now between the needle here and this hem, this distance from, from here to here, that's the closest I can go to the bill of the hat without having the claw foot climb up onto the bill of the hat. So what I'm doing right now is I'm like pretending that this is the hat and I'm gonna get a measurement so I know where my design can go. And it's really got to be clear of the foot. I'll circle back around. Okay, so this is my, um, let me back out a little bit here. So this is my simulated hat bill, and I'm going to need to measure the distance between this row of stitching and the hat bill. And that's the distance that I know I have to set my design off my hat. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and we'll work on the hat. I modified this foot um, by putting it in the vise and pounding on it and then doing the paper test. And I have another video that shows how to do that. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So I have my hat here and I have put this piece of blue tape on. It's a half an inch wide to remind me to stay away from the brim of the hat. And this is my design, but I just drew it on with my white pencil. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cheat a little bit, and I'm gonna go straight in with the fill color using a variegated uh, cotton Mauser thread. And with the variegated, I tend to not outline because the color will change, so I try to go straight to the fill so that I get a consistent variegation, if that makes sense, oxymoron there. Um, one thing I've noticed is on the cylinder arm machine, when you're doing it, you need to be sure that the sweatband is not getting caught underneath your chain stitch. And um, you can flip a hat inside out and do it on a flatbed machine, not a cylinder arm, but it is nearly impossible. It's just nearly impossible to flip it inside out and to get the sweatband out of the way. So um, that's where the cylinder arm really comes in handy. So I'm just gonna get busy and I'm gonna have to stay away, that half inch away from the brim. And I've got my special foot in here. Oh, let me grab my reading glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Um, oh, I should say that I measured this and I got that this is a half an inch. So I know I have to stay a half an inch away from the brim. That was my, my test piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in 
I'm gonna roll my wheel backwards a little bit so the needle goes up into the nipple. And I'm gonna go in with my hat. And this is a the most difficult hat, this like rigid hard hat is the most difficult. The um, unstructured ones, I guess you would say, are just much easier to do. Um, so I'm gonna start, get a hold of my thread tail, and I'm just gonna start filling. So I'm gonna try to flatten out the hat in the area where I'm working. That makes it a little easier. Hopefully you guys can see. So I'm just gonna start filling in circle fill. close to the eyeball. So I'm going to actually go around the eyeball now. I'm going to fill in the eyeball later with a different color so it's not that critical. I can fix the shape of the eyeball later. Okay, so I'm going back to my outlining and simple filling. When I get down near here, I need to get under here and I need to get that sweatband <laughs> out of the way. I have definitely sewn through sweatbands in the past and um, then you have to take your stuff out. So now is the difficult part. The only part that's hard is down near the bill. Um, but you definitely have to get your sweatband out of the way. Um, and if you don't remember to do that, then you have to pull your stitches out. Oh, see? Okay, you guys can't see that. Hang on, let me relocate the camera just a touch. Hold on. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, sweatband out of the way. Coming down to the brim. Staying away, the half inch away from my blue tape. And I'm going to cheat, and I'm just going to fill um, the whole thing. And I'm going to come back later with my outline and do the, do the teeth part. Okay. You guys can't see. So if you notice my foot is staying away from the blue area. So I'm going to keep filling. I usually do like a circle of fills around the outside first to establish the outline. And then I'm going to go back in for the inner parts. And I'm not too worried about the detail or the shape of the... Um, the exterior because as I mentioned I'm going to go around it again with um, another color. I'm going to go around the nose right now. Okay, I think I'm going to dive back down here and continue filling in the chin area. you're hearing is my uh, my belt I think I have to tighten that oh shit I just filled the nose okay I'll, I'll fix that with a, a different color
Okay, I'm trying not to fill the nose here. So I made like a straight line through that area and you can see that the thread changes the color. So I'm going to have to go back and cover that up. I'm going to do the forehead now. And I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off because I don't want any of the glue from the tape getting... Um, chewed into the hat with the foot. A little bit of Okay. All right, going back to my filling. good over here by the eye. I'm going to work my way back up and, and get the eyeball a little better. Okay, that looks good pretty much. I'm going to take it out and uh, we'll check the variegation. Hang on a minute while I take it out. Okay, so I took it out and looked at it, and I realized I had a thin area down at the bottom. So I'm making sure my sweatband is out of the way, and I'm gonna um, do a second cover over down at the bottom. I'm gonna stop and take that out now and we'll re-examine it. Hang on. I'm, I'm not gonna cover how to stop and start in this video because I definitely cover that in other videos. This one's mostly supposed to be about doing a hat, so stand by. Okay, so I went over the bottom a second time. It looks pretty good. I accidentally filled in the nose. It's off to fix that, but um, I've changed my color now. I'm gonna do the bow. So I've got my tan thread in and I'm gonna do the bow. So I'm gonna stick my hat under carefully. Um, you know, the cloth foot is kind of grabby, so try to carefully get it over to the bow area. And, um, oh, sorry. Gonna do the bow. Since I'm coming back to outline, I'm just going to jump across to the next part of the bow. my bow. Um, 
going to take my project out and we'll take a quick peek at it. Um, So since the hat's kind of curvy, I found it's better to pull your thread out, get it free of your needle. Um, so I'm gonna get it, get it off the needle now. I think I just made a mess. Okay, I pull my hat out. I did just break a little piece off, but that's okay. So I've rolled my needle backwards so it went back up in the nipple so I can get my hat out. And um, okay, so here's what we got so far. Cute little bow. Now I'm gonna go back in and do the outline. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, so I'm back. I In my last part of the video, I did the bow. And then I went ahead and I filled in the nose and the eyes. And now I'm gonna do the, um, the outline. So I'm actually gonna take my water soluble marker and I'm gonna mark um, where I'm gonna put the teeth. Okay. So I'm gonna outline the bow and the skull and, and it, do the teeth here. So I'll put you back over here. Okay, so now the most important thing when you go down at the bottom is you don't want to get your sweat sweatband in in the caught in the thing. So I'm gonna, as I'm loading it in, making sure that my sweatband is not under there. And I'm gonna start in the easiest part on the top. Try not to bump you all because uh, you'll be wiggling. But here we go. So I um, I also did shorten my stitch length a little for the details. Okay, again, making sure my sweatband is not getting caught. double-checking sweatband I'm gonna go up the, um, the teeth twice so that they're kind of full double-checking sweat sweatband is okay and I'm kind of, I kind of have my uh, thumb underneath the bill, just sort of holding it flat. Oh, I think I might have pushed or something. I just broke my thread. Let me pause and rethread. Okay, I have. Um, Rethreaded. To be honest, I think my thread got stuck on the thread spool because the cotton doesn't unwind as quickly as the silk rayon. So I backed up a little bit, and I'm just going to come across again. Okay, making sure my sweatband is not not under there. Um, but I think you know thread breaks are normally when your um, thread gets stuck on the spool. Okay, so I'm going to keep coming forward. I'm going to do the last. Okay, I'm going to come on around, kind of got to smush the hat a little bit to um, get kind of a good surface, but anyway, coming around, okay, I'm going to do this bow. The bow is, is somewhat difficult because um, it's so small. Okay. 
So I'm going to go around the bow. I'm going to do that inside circle. Right now I'm going around the outside of the bow like a second time. So I think the next time I come through I'll go on the inside. Okay. Now back for my second outline. Okay, when I get around to here. This is when I make sure the sweatband is not, not getting caught under the hat. Okay. Double checking that sweatband. All right. Now, because I already did the up, up the teeth uh, double time, I just go straight across the bottom. It gives me a nice outline. Double checking my sweatband going straight across the bottom. Put my needle down and just reorganize this a little bit. Okay. Keep coming. Okay, so last time I around the outside twice, so this time I'm going to go around the inside of the bow twice. Now everything has been gone around twice. I think I'm going to go a third time. Now getting to the bottom, double check your sweatband. I'm going to just Regrip on the hat, make sure I'm flowing smoothly, making sure the sweatband is not in there. Okay, coming back up the side. And this time I'm going to go around the outside of the bow. Definitely shortening up your stitch length for the detail or the outline I have found to be kind of helpful. Okay, whoop. And back where I started. Okay, so we'll pull the project out and take a look. I like to um I like to use the hook tool to get my project out because it's the shape of the hat, it's hard to pull your thread out um, because the hat's curved. So I'm just going to use my paper clip to get the thread off the hook. Oops, hook in the wrong thread. Get the thread off the hook. And then I roll the handrail backwards a little bit so the needle goes up into the nipple so I can pull my project out. Um, okay, so here is the hat and um, got to tuck my thread back, but as you can see, I mean, not my best work, but it's cute. So let me move you over a little bit so you can see. So that's the hat. I got to tuck this in. And you can see from the inside, this is this is a flex fit hat, so there's no opening. You can see from the inside, I did not get the sweatband. Um, that is the hat. I think it came out all right. Just need to tuck that back. I'll um, I'll post a still photo of it in the in the video for you, but um, I think it came out pretty nice. So I do the the teeth first. So that when you come back with the outline, it's like a smooth outline across it. Um, but there you go.
these hats are difficult because this is so hard and shaped, but I think it came out pretty good. Hope y'all like it. Guess flatten that out. Anyway, thanks for watching.